For most of us, it's the escape, the serenity, the beauty and the comfort. It's the place we go to, to find our freedom, to rediscover, to take a step back and reflect. That's for most of us, but not all of us. Cities, islands and families live off of the produce of the sea. They are the fishermen who work tirelessly, fighting the sea monster. A monster that made their job harder and they produce fewer. As in actors, we paid attention to the pain of these fishermen and we listened closely to what they had to say. الداخل من ما لا شك فيه تضرب بالبحار تضرب بكل يعني كامل اسطول كامل بتاع قطاع بتاع سيد بحري كامل تضرب داش ضر العباد ضر العباد اي غزل تتصور يمكن وداعش هذا يشد فيه داعش يدقدقوا ياكل هو اف كعبة الحوت تلقاها مثل كعب قراض ولا مش عارف شو كذا واحد تلقاها بالمقارض من تعطك قسمها ما تتباعش تشويها وتاكلها لهنا ولا تروح بها ولا تلوحها هذيك امور مفيد راهي ما تتباعش The invasion of the blue crab is a phenomenon that appeared recently in 2014 on the Tunisian coast. Because of its rapid spread, more than 3,000 tons are captured per year, affecting the regions of Karakna, Gebes, Fex and Jerba, that generate 50% of national fishing production, making it both an economic and ecological disaster. The emergence of blue crab in Karakna has brought some devastating impact on the fisheries in general as it damages one-third of the codfish by ruining it with its pincers. Therefore, more than 33% of fishermen income is lost. This blue crab also forces the fishermen to change their nets, and by the span of two years, sailors would use up to four fishing nets instead of only one, leading to an additional cost of 22,500 dinars per year. As for Sharfaya, a common traditional fishing tool used by 60% of fishermen in the area is now no longer profitable. Consequently, the average loss in production has reached 60% per year. Fishermen nowadays generate only 600 dinars instead of 1,500 dinars per month. Therefore, some fishermen have focalized their efforts on catching and selling the blue crab. However, it has no value in comparison with seafood and fish. We listened carefully to the pains and the problems of the fishermen as we've reached a solution that fulfilled the needs of over 20,000 fishermen. That's where we invented Crab Buster, an electronic device that is attached to the nets or sharfeya, releases specific sound waves, repelling the blue crab, protecting in return the codfish and the fishermen's equipment. Most importantly, these sound waves affect only the blue crab and causes no harm on other species of the crab, neither fish nor seafood. Crab Buster is a locally manufactured device that is composed of two parts. The interior part, it's a circuit containing an Arduino and programmed with a blue crab predator sound, a speaker and a battery that lasts long enough for a fishing trip. The exterior part, made with resin, an eco-friendly material that is waterproof on one side and volume amplifier on the other, with an upper part to change the battery. One unit costs 85 dinars to produce and is sold for 150 dinars, making a net income of 65 dinars. Our solution wasn't easy to achieve as we reached out to scientists and electronic experts who had helped us develop an effective and practical product. Not only did we test the device within the National Institute of Sea Science and Technology, but also made multiple tests in the open sea in order to prove our product efficiency. Our new device, Crab Buster, ensures an important impact on the livelihood of fishermen as well as in the economy. In fact, we were able to create two job opportunities by offering a sustainable revenue of 5 dinars per interior unit for the technician as well as 15 dinars per exterior unit for the artisan. We were also able to sell 8 units in only 2 weeks, generating a total revenue of 1,200 dinars for our beneficiary and a profit of 520 dinars. As for our customers, the fishermen, their profit will reach a minimum of 1,500 dinars with a 60% increase in profit. And for the next year, we're aiming to increase our production to 900 units, 
generating a turnover of 135,000 dinars. This will allow us an extra yearly revenue of 4,500 dinars for our technician and 13,500 dinars for the two artisans. So, with Crab Buster, we are reviving the traditional fishing method, Sharfeya, thus impacting the livelihood of 12,000 farmers. And by 2023, we will fulfill Karkna's needs and we will scale our impact to Gebis, Sfeqas and Jirba by replicating the process and recruiting more artisans and technicians in order to produce nearly 3,000 units, generating a total turnover of 432,000 dinars with 187,000 dinars as profit. And now... As our exciting journey in Karkna reached a satisfying and promising result, it was time for us to travel back to the heart of the oasis to conclude a mission we already started in Kabili, where farmers' livelihood relies only on dates production. Despite that Tunisia occupies the first place in quantitative production, 60,000 farmers in the region of Kabili, Tuzur and Gibbs still risk an overwhelming income drop in production due to the lack of protection. Protection from the heat, rain and insects. Without any defense against these elements, farmers risk losing up to 20% of their harvest. The remaining 80% risk being produced in bad quality, jeopardizing our reputation as first place worldwide and causing the farmers an income loss of more than 30%. The local demand of protection tools has increased, reaching 44 million units in 2020. Despite the government efforts that imported 6 million units of La Mosaya this year, it only managed to cover 33% of the total need. Therefore, some farmers have resorted to using 7.5 million units of sample plastic in an attempt to protect their harvest. However, this solution is not only expensive, ineffective and harmful for both the consumer and the environment, but also couldn't cover all the demand, leaving 22 million branches without any protection. An entrepreneur action was needed. Digleya, a 100% Tunisia protection tool, was created. Thanks to our research department and with the help of the Ministry of Agriculture, the Regional Center of Oasis Agriculture Research, all along with the constant feedback of the farmers, we successfully came up with the brand new conception of Digleya. The upper part is a laminated woven plastic, a certified eco-friendly recyclable plastic to protect from heavy rain, wind and extreme heat. The lower part is a breathable fabric to protect from insects that could damage the whole branch. As we are happy to announce that our product is officially certified from SEDEX that's set to last for six whole years. All of this for a price of 1 dinar 890 millims per unit. قبيب بالنصر من منطقة تنبيه من ولاية كبلي كما تشوفوا بدأنا في عملية تغليف واليوم نشوفوا في سلعة تونسية نموسية هذه باهية حق وساعدتنا برشة وكما كنت تشوفوا في الصين كانت معناها ديما ديما فما مشكلة متاع نموسية مش متوفرة اليوم وسلعة تونسية وحاجة باهية ومساعدتنا as for this year, we succeeded to sell 16,700 units, generating a total turnover of more than 31,000 dinars, securing for our beneficiary a total income of 4,800 dinars. Through the Glea, we were able to reach three women in southern Tunisia, who are currently financially independent and now responsible for the soon of the two parts of the product, offering them a monthly income of 450 dinars. As for our customers, we managed to increase their production, therefore their income by 14%. This wasn't achievable if it wasn't for the actions we took and the partnerships we established. We partnered with Chamber Bags, a local manufacturer for our upper part product. And through this partnership, we were allowed to evolve from being client of Jumbo to working along the side in order to reduce transaction costs, providing our customers with the lowest price possible. This partnership is our guarantee for this project's sustainability. Our goal is to scale our impact in Tuz and Gapes, save 60,000 farmers, fulfill their needs, improve the life of 500,000 Tunisian citizens. And this is how we plan it to achieve it. 
We've already arranged a partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture in order to benefit from their sewing centers, allowing us to sustain the jobs of 44 women, offering them an income of 2,700 dinars over six months of labor. We plan on producing 500,000 units of Diglea from next year, generating a total turnover of nearly 1 million dinars. And by the fifth year, we'll be able to produce 6 million units, generating a total turnover of more than 11 million dinars and a profit of over 1.7 million dinars, all while creating and sustaining the jobs of 264 women working all year round. This year, and this year only, we have managed to achieve, through our project, a total economic impact of nearly 33,000 dinars, generating for our beneficiary a total income of 5,320 dinars, creating five jobs opportunities and targeting eight SDGs. At the beginning of our journey, we were just a group of students that had one thing in common, which is our love for social entrepreneurship. And together, we accepted the challenge, the challenge of making a difference. We're proud to say that even with the pandemic, the lockdown, and the difficulties we encountered in the last several months, we were able to safely touch the lives of many sailors, farmers, women. And we're not stopping there. As for each year, we're not only improving our products, growing our projects, and reaching more regions in our country, but also looking forward to exporting our products to benefit new markets. We are Hela, Salwa, Ahmed, Emna, and we are Enactus Sesek. We vow to devote our time and energy to create hope, open opportunities, and build a brighter future for our people. We can live without nature. We can invent the most sophisticated technologies, build the smartest robots, construct the highest towers, dig and drill to the deepest petroleum wells. It's called intelligence. We are intelligent men. We can live without nature, or can we? We may think we are intelligent but absolutely not wise, for we disgrace the earth, neglect its importance. We're being ungrateful and even disrespectful to the environment and home that embraced us, turning deaf to nature's screams and blind to its help signs of wildfires, climate change, hurricanes, and even the extinction of several species. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. That's us, that's our essence, and now we're currently witnessing the consequences of what we did with our own bare, uncaring hands. The same guilty hands we used to throw filth in the middle of the sewers, and never thought at what cost. We never thought that 80% of marine pollution is due to sewers rubbish. Even one cigarette butt can pollute 3,000 liters of water per hour. Even this small quantity will lead to the blockage of most of the sewage system, which will eventually result in large-scale floodings and massive insect invasions. Homes and shelters were washed away. Lives were taken away. These past three years, 700 houses were heavily destroyed and 8,000 citizens were victims of these inundations. Sadly, 160 inhabitants died this decade because of them. What about municipal employees? The forgotten soldiers that work in unbearable conditions with unbelievably limited means provided. These workers are bound to die from head to toe inside dirty sewers to unblock them, risking their health, risking to catch malaria, corona, and so many other diseases, gathering and cleaning our dirt. This is our fault! But we in Actus know that an error does not become a mistake until we refuse to correct it. We are a part of nature and to betray nature is to betray us. To save nature is to save us, and we in Actus Insat have chosen to, to save, save us. us. 
All of this made the Seek an answer to these daily problems faced by our community. And through this quest, one very simple yet revolutionary solution was born. We called it Zigo Filter. Zigo Filter is a graded metallic filter made to fit inside the sewers. It allows rainwaters to pass through normally, but retains big waste and mud so that they do not block the underground pipes. Zigo Filter is the answer to a major part of the problem faced by municipalities in Tunisia for the five following reasons. Number one, it is easy to install and easy to lift, which was the main requirement given to us by the municipal workers we've met. Number two, it is easy to clean. Workers just need to pour the garbage directly from the cage to the garbage truck, which is 15 times quicker than traditional processes used in cleaning the sewers. Number three, the capacity of Zigo filter is very large. It takes up to six months to be filled to only three quarters. Number four, the cage is galvanized. Galvanized meaning it is covered in zinc, which extends its life expectancy of up to seven years. Galvanized iron is also hard to melt and reuse, which prevents our cages from being stolen. And number five, according to numbers given to us by the municipality of Sokra, their spendings will be cut down from 50,000 dinars to only 3,500 dinars each year, which is 93% times less. This is exactly why Zico Filter is a simple solution that has a sustainable and positive impact on the environment, the society, and the workforce taking care of it. حاجه اسهل وحاجه خلف العقل ولينا نهزوا فيها من فوق ما عادش تاع الاوساخ ما عادتش ولت التفريغ اسهل الخدام معنا من يكون نخدم مثلا 10 كعبات ولا 5 كعبات في النهار ولا نتجاوز حتى الدبل تاعهم الخدمه في سيركوي برشا نتمنى برشا فيضانات في الكدا نحي اللي يهبط كان الماء برك حتى الدلويه بتنظيف before the dream came true, Zigo Filter has been an entire journey. During these last 12 months, we have worked for 1,700 hours and traveled for 8,400 kilometers only to reach our goal. It all started in Ariana where we placed our first Zigo Filter ever. Then, after analyzing and experimenting, we got in touch with the municipality of La Marsa where we placed more prototypes. There, we talked to municipal workers who gave us their feedbacks about our Zigo filter so that we could evolve it to its current final state and focus more on its innovation. This final prototype has three new characteristics made to suit the needs of the workers and provide them with the best working conditions. First, a more pyramidal shape. This new prototype allows larger quantities of water to pass through it. Second, thicker edges. It holds onto the inner walls of the sewer more stably. And third, larger, more practical handles. The process of its lifting is easier and more hygienic. Throughout all these changes, we've had the precious support and advice of TCTD, the Tunisian Association of Climate Change and Sustainable Development, who gave us their expertise and with whom we share a strong partnership. <laughs> We were ready to hit the market with our new products. However, in order to get to governmental figures, the procedures and paperwork were so complicated and took forever. And it was even more so because we're just a group of students. In October 2019, violent storms hit the whole country and resulted in massive floodings and destruction everywhere. We immediately doubled the efforts to mediatize our project it got the attention of many radio stations and even a national TV channel. That is when Zigo Filter started to get noticed publicly and municipalities got in touch with us. Soon, we placed the very first official product all over Sokra, to whom we sold 100 devices, and Zahra, who bought 40 devices. And by that time, Zigo Filter was officially labeled a social enterprise. And we quickly protected our new products with a patent from Inochpi. Zigo Filter is now a small company with a CEO, Yusuf Buzariata, a marketing manager, Emin Sahiri, and a commercial manager, Mohamed Rameh. All three are engineering students at INSAT and members of the Enactus INSAT team and have shown utmost devotion to the project since its birth. 
Zigo Filter is the first student social enterprise to collaborate with the government regarding environmental issues. Not only that, it is also the living proof that Enactus members are capable of showing entrepreneurial leadership by providing a product that is based on the feedbacks of the government entities rather than the other way around. But the social impact of Zigo Filter does not end there. Zigo Filter also revived the whole economy of the factory. In fact, we came across an iron-making company that was going through some financial hardships and established a subcontracting deal with them. Today, they are in charge of both the making and distribution of the cages. And as a cherry on top, Zico Filter was awarded the best environmental project in Tunisia by Sprint, an international incubator. The road ahead of us is still long, but here's where we stand right now, so let's talk numbers. Our primary client segment for this year is 65 municipalities and we intend to cover 18% of them as our market share. Not only that, we also intend to work with other public centers and private institutes. As for the price point, Zigo Filter comes in two standard sizes. A size at the price of 150 dinars and a bigger one at 250 dinars. The customized size for private institutes costs 300 dinars. And as for today, Zigo Filter reached a gross revenue of 65,900 dinars. And that by selling only 253 pieces. Can you imagine the revenue we will generate when we will cover all 63,000 sewers present in Tunisia? Make that 16 million dinars! Zigo Filter impacts our Tunisian communities on more than one level, both directly and indirectly, and here is how. Zigo Filter created three jobs and thus improved the lives of three families. It impacted the lives of 27 municipal workers and their families. It offered a new source of income to an iron-making business and all its 40 employees. It prevented annual floodings and so saved 280,000 people from their devastating consequences. It prevented the suspension of schools that happens each year due to the floodings and so impacted the lives and education of 96,000 students. Three municipalities saved 144,000 dinars by adopting our solution. Zico Filter showed it was possible for young enterprises to cooperate with government entities and thus reaching all 10 SDGs. By the end of last year, Zigo Filter brought in 12,000 dinars, but by the end of this year, we will bring in 189,000 dinars in revenue and carry on evolving. The perspectives of Zigo Filter are broad. Here's what they look like on a five years term. We will reach a gross revenue of 330,500 dinars by 2025. We will impact the lives of more than 8,700,000 Tunisian citizens and employ 53 people. We will also implement the property of waste recycling, so to make Zigo Filter a zero waste project from A to Z. And last but not least, we will broaden our market to Algeria, a neighboring country suffering from the same problems. My name is Dara. My name is Ayman. My name is Noor. We in Actus Inside jointly set our goal, put our hands and efforts together to redress base by base a sustainable and self-sufficient Tunisia. Innovation, perseverance, ambition were the torch to enlighten our path, guiding us to this moment. We believe our brainchild, our project will enhance people's lives, leaving its print and echoing through its innovation. We are believers, dreamers, fighters. We, we are in Actus Inside. Our nation, Tunisia, enjoys many favorable geographical characteristics such as climate, water resources and solar exposure. Those are all beneficial to the development of intensive cultures of medicinal and aromatic plants known as MAPs, with which the Tunisian flora is rich. Covering nearly 4,500 hectares of the national forest area, they are mainly spread out across the north. Let us take you near the northwest border of Tunisia and Draham holds around 20% of the national MAP's areas. However, this potential source of revenue is barely valued, while Indraham is struggling with an employment rate reaching 25%. Therefore, we seized this opportunity and began addressing the needs of our targeted audience. Our solution is essential oil extraction, allowing us to answer the social, economic, and environmental challenges by employing the locals 
and securing the needed raw materials from, an, from innovative and sustainable ecosystem by exploiting the abandoned MAPs. Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi. I'm Shihab. And I am Ahlem. We are students of the Higher Institute of Aeronautics and Technologies. We are Enact Zat, introducing our project, Rose Oil offering a wide range of authentic and organic essential oils, dried herbs, and many more other derived products. In order to better understand our market, we began by analyzing the national and international trends, improving our entrepreneurial skills in the process by a set of in-office analysis, field surveys, and a partnership with the Agriculture Development Group of Eindraham Pure Nature. We find out that the FMPs in the production is currently contributing to the national value production by 0.8%, equaling 14.2 million dinars, where 40% are generated by exported products. Furthermore, it is expected for these numbers to grow much higher in the next few years. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, 80% of the world's population considers MAPs their primary source of healthcare products. In Tunisia, 20 tons of MAP products are each year consumed. In order to penetrate to this huge business opportunity, we, we segmented our market to reach our potential customer and to ensure a good market fit. We, we focused on high-end resorts such as hotels, spas, massage centers, and alternative health care retailers. So we capitalized on the opportunities at hand, and we iterated and uh, designing a fully local uh, and sustainable ecosystem, with the main goal of lifting our target beneficiaries from poverty. Our ecosystem is envisioned as follows. First, we start with a moderate, fresh herbs gathering process by the locals. Then, with optimized and efficient extraction oil process. Then, with, enough, uh, with derived products production, a zero waste strategy to finally reach our sustainable our sustainable delivery channels to our satisfied clients. This led us to define a clear and efficient business model, direct or business-to-business -business sales of our essential oil with an average price of 15 dinars per 10 milliliters with 20% gain rate. To the, uh, in order to diversify our revenue streams, we offer other related products such as dried herbs, best used as infusion tea or in some medicine recipes, scented candles used as, uh, used as decoration or relaxing purposes, and traditional soap. As a change makers, we, uh, we've uh, identified our beneficiaries are Indraham's forest inhabitants, who represent 25% of its population. They are nearly, they are nearly uh, excess, with a nearly excess 10 dinars per day, covering for five members. Uh, Partnering with a local AGD, we located and gathered 30 local female fathers farmers and gatherers, enabling them with uh, production methods and basic knowledge. The AGD uh, promised them continuous monitoring and support throughout s s workshops and training sessions in order to, we to well establish their newly generated gathering business. Mm -hmm. All their products and gatherings are promised to be bought by the AGD, which empowers them and enables them to become economically self-sustaining. However, as soon as the locals started extended gathering, we, we quickly noticed that the, uh, in decrease in the quantity provided, which, which uh, reaching our first, uh, first challenge. Our first assumption was that it's caused by the locals' uh, destructive gathering processes, which didn't respect the growth cycle of the herbs. As soon as we organized fully cycles of training and there's strict, strict, gathering, uh, strict gathering guidelines uh, day by day, we noticed the quality stabilizing. As a change makers, entrepreneurs, we found out, to, so we fulfilled to not decrease in the same floor. Thanks to, the, you know, thanks to our partnership with the French Development Agency, we installed to 20 fully equipped greenhouses to the tr distributed to the trained women, thus increasing the, increasing the, the, gatherings, uh, the gatherings by 60%, along with the seasonal spontaneous natural source. 
The traditional extraction process is as follows. First, we put the fresh herbs in a distillation tank, getting the organic compound to evaporate with the water. The vapor steam travels into the steel head, which precipitates into the water-cooled condenser and is uh, collected into the uh, collector, the, where the floral water phase is separated from the oil, extract oil extracted oil phase. But the repetition of these steps got us to use water in an excessive way, reaching our second challenge. As, a, as a future students entrepreneurs, we, we conducted our collective, collective intelligence and conducted brainstorming sessions in order to study for, uh, st sustainable, eco-friendly pro production processes. As a result, we implemented a system where we reused the same flora water produced in the next round of extraction for the same kind of herb, thus reducing our water usage by 67% from 22,000 liters to just 7 liters per month. This allowing us <laughs> with the main which We quickly found ourselves with 5 tons of MAP waste, which leads us how do we manage this? In order to find a solution to this urgent challenge, we took the advice of an agricultural engineer in order to find out whether or not we could use this uh, waste and recycle it into natural fertilizer. Our hypothesis was validated, as by mixing the MAP waste with the animal waste, we get an extremely beneficial effect. It acts as a harmful bug repellent and is also a cure for many herbal diseases. Closing our our production cycle, we reached our zero waste vision. To, uh, to, uh, to ship our products and to, ensure, uh, and to preserve the characteristics of our oils during shipment, our oils are packaged in ultraviolet and, uh, and uh, amber colored bottles. Rose oil products are now available in four local business, uh, business retailers and in the, hot, in the Mimosas Hotel. Uh, we, uh, uh, in order to uh, in order to well establish a uh, in order to establish a well clientele, we uh, we partnered with with Wikipam, an organic specialized e-commerce store. Our products also are available at Funa.com and Jumia.com. This this partnerships got us to outsource the shipment uh, logistics. <laughs> ضعيفة على الاخر وقت اللي دخلت الديزاين الجديد والباكيجينج واللوجو والنيم نتاع البراند لاحظنا انه برشا حاجات تبدلت البرودوي ولا هو وحده ما يحكي على روحه فرض روحه في في المارشي كيف المارشي لوكال نعين دراهم تبرقة حطونا ان كونتاكت مع برشا كليونات في تونس ام فيري ثانكفول مع تاع الحكايات اللي صارت الكل وام ريلي براود بالكولابوريشن اللي صارت ما بيناتنا وما بيناتهم ونتمنى انه ما نكملوا نخدموا مع بعضنا this year was exceptional in all terms due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But in our business, we experienced organic growth by increasing our sales of our eucalyptus essential oil and its related product by 10% thanks to its disinfecting properties. In order to establish a well-managed and efficient working strategy, we need to, uh, to, to, to meet our quality product. We split the uh, extraction employees into two teams with one team per shift, either morning or afternoon. Each shift is composed of three rounds with each round uh, up to a duration of two hours. After each round, we have 30 minutes for maintenance and sanitization. Our control and management is ISO 9001 certified. Our products are eco-friendly, sustainable, organic, and CCPB certified. Rose oil gave us an opportunity to, uh, to uh, Rose oil gave us an opportunity to hop on on an uh, entrepreneurial journey full of speed pumps and challenges. But we didn't slow down. We took action. We managed risks and incertitude to preserve an incremental success and milestones. Starting by implementing an ecosystem based on herb collection and transformation, where we provided for 30 families a sustainable source of income. We innovatively optimized the herbs production cycle by uh, reducing the water by 70% by 70 we innovatively we reached our zero waste vision by producing our own natural fertilizer 
we enabled 20 greenhouse holders to generate over 36,000 dinars in just six months. We enabled 30, uh, six jobs and created them, enabled them to receive 13,800 dinars in just six salaries. We established our product. We reached 54,000 dinars in just sales, 3,000 dinars, 800 in just net profits. 20% of the yearly profit will be reinvested in the project to ensure sustainability and scalability. Our, our, next pro, our, our vision to the next quarter is to increase our sales by 65%, relying more on business-to-business -business partnerships. Next year, we are planning to install 50 fully equipped greenhouses. By the end of 2021, rose oil will generate a turnover of more than 100,000 dinars, impacting 70 families. The MAP's industry offers a promising horizon for the development of rural, regional, and national economies. Good stories never truly end. Happy, sad, fictional, factual stories, and especially success stories. And at Enactus Enacom, we don't only like good stories, we write them too. And the best of stories are those that give hope and teach lessons of collaboration and finding meaning through hard work and making dreams come true. Today, we stand before you. Rehab, Via, Aziza, Amin, to, to present an actress in and, and, and tell you two stories, stories that hopefully you never forget. Education is the most evident tool to social welfare, economic stability, growth and prosperity of individuals as well as their nations. The common practice of getting educated highly depends on visually presented concepts, especially in fields like mathematics, biology, and geography, where there is less verbal information and high stimulation of visual memory, which obviously excludes blind students. In fact, the braille writing system that they use allows them to only read letters and numbers, meaning they have no access to geometry, shapes, and graphs and therefore they are restricted in their educations and career options. We started seeking opportunities by investigating the situation. That's when we met Mr. Mohammed Mansouri, a 52-year-old blind person and the head of IPSAR Association, an international foundation specialized in the entertainment and rehabilitation of the visually impaired. <laughs> في لنا حق في النفاذ للمعلومة خاصة في مستويات خرائط ومستوى رسوم بيانية ومستوى تجسيد الصور برغم المحاولات اللي في تونس إيجاد ما يسمى بالترموفورم الترموفورم ذي ما يوصلش إلى نسبة حتى عشرة بالمئة من الدقة متع الصورة أو متع الخريطة أو متع الرسم البياني مع المشكلة الكبيرة اللي كلها تعاني مستمتعنا هو ارتفاع الأسعار والتكلفة متع هالمتريل ذي أو حتى على المواد الأولية اللي قاعد يستعملوا فيه، وبالتالي لازم نبحث على حل ويا حب هذا يكون حل وطن. We demonstrated entrepreneurial leadership by taking personal responsibilities to find an easy to implement educational tool that will solve this problem. With the help of Mr. Mansouri as our project holder and the information we gathered from visited seven schools and centers of the blind, the solution finally emerged and LAMSA was born. LAMSA is a tactile paper printing business that allows the production and sale of educational products for visually impaired students and schools of the blind. This brand improves the quality of their education by providing a sustainable teaching method. In fact, the real innovation of LEMSA is in the printing machine that we invented. This machine carves the paper to give us 3D graphs and scientific figures and also prints regular braille text while respecting the international norms. LEMSA printer uses regular 170 gram paper that costs only 100 millims, making it 83% more affordable than any international competitor. By combining these two features, it solves a huge problem for the blind community in Tunisia and opens doors for new educational domains other than the literary field, since we are introducing LEMSA graphical paper to children in the beginning of their education. And then, 
باش نخرجوا التصاور يقرا بهم الماتيغ سيونتيفيك ولكن باش تعطيه كور كيما يلزم يكون باش تكون ديك الدقه اللي لازم تقرا بها انت لو بوين كيف دونك الاباري حل الدرجه اللي بين الصغار اول حاجه وحل برشا افاق All of this was achieved thanks to a good study of the market, the needs of our customer segment, and the sound business model. In fact, our project stands on two big bases, the production of paper and the commercialization and distribution of the products. The machine was manufactured and assembled in the labs of our partner, Jagora Fab Lab Insfax, then programmed by engineers to make it adaptable to print on different types of surfaces and to give precise and readable results. During the conception and testing phase, we kept in touch with the schools and the association so that when the printer was ready, we were able to test the prototype samples. We also used our beneficiary big network to contact new possible customers. After examining LAMSA prototype, the customers were very satisfied and started placing orders. In fact, we agreed with an association to supply them with the needed textbooks for every semester for the next school year. The sustainability of our project was ensured, so we had to stay focused. In fact, our printery has already recruited two more employees. And to make our brand more accessible, we set up an online store at lemsa.tn that allows people from all around Tunisia to get our products. And as our project being highly scalable, we were able to enlarge our customer segment by working on the diversification of our products, some with car games, to making useful stickers for colors, skateboards and kitchenware, written in braille to make Lemsa a lifestyle for blind people of all ages. Our products are also available in retail stores that we partner with. And we aspire to establish stronger partnerships so LAMSA becomes more recognizable. Since we launched LAMSA, we have manufactured 21,500 tactile papers and received 187 online orders, allowing us to impact 920 visually impaired students and bring them a chance for inclusion. By being much affordable, LAMSA saved 38,000 dinars in expenses to both schools and families. With great effort comes great rewards. LAMSA generated a total of 9,700 dinars in revenue in just two months, allowing to create three job opportunities with a monthly income of 380 dinars. And by this we achieved five sustainable development goals. LAMSA is a second chance for every student to have quality education, to feel included and equal. LAMSA is improving livelihoods and assisting blind people overcome their daily challenges. That was the story of LAMSA. Moving on to the second story. Tunisia is home to some of the most beautiful nature views in North Africa. Forests, lakes, mountains and deserts. However, these landscapes are often located in some of Tunisia's poorest governor, where people suffer from poverty and unemployment. Our project takes advantage of the beauty of these areas and the big potential of its unemployed citizens. So we created Campus, a concept of eco-villages that targets unknown potential in rural regions and transforms them into business opportunities. In every region, Campus develops projects held and run by locals, taking into consideration the natural resources and characteristics of the area. This year, we took the project to an extra length by implementing Camptus all over Tunisia, creating Camptus Plus, the biggest alternative tourism network in Tunisia. So, we began our search, and thanks to a partnership with consulting from Les Experts, we found the new locations where Camptus was implemented. And to guarantee the diversity of Camptus Plus, we made sure its eco villages were spread all over the country and offered different attractions in accordance with the local ecosystem like the sea, deserts, mountains, or lakes. In city Barak Beja, with our beneficiary, Mr. Basemi Wimbley, we implemented the first version of campus where we created an aquatic theme camping. Later in Mogad Beja, with our second beneficiary, Mr. Ali Masturi, we created an alpine themed camping park and equipped a three room guest house powered by solar energy and biogas. Thanks to Campus' success and its great impact on locals, the idea of a network of eco-villages emerged. In city 
Marcelo Morneg with Mr. Mohidin Ma'amar, we established a small animal farm, anti-cheese making and gardening courses. In Tbarqa Zanduba with Mr. Ania Mishirgi, we created a fully equipped camping park, created a hiking path that connects beautiful landscapes and allows the local families to sell their local products and offer their services. In Luz Aspects with Mr. Ismail Omran, we equipped a beachside guest house and camping spot, offering catering services from from the local families. And around Halouf in Ibn Khdesh Midnin with Mr. Nasser Saadawi, we fit yet another camping park selling the local food of the region. These locations are available online, sharing a single new platform, campus.com, managed by our project holder, Mr. Ali Sayed, who processes orders and maintains the whole network, making useful information about the eco villages easy to access and visits easier to plan. To ensure our project sustainability, we signed agreements with the beneficiaries for them to benefit from the Campus Plus supporting network. Every park owner contributes to the label with a 10% commission. To market the project and attract customers to the eco-villages, we organized six events in different parks, promoted our project over 14 radio stations and through five TV channels. And our social media numbers jumped to 10,000 followers. Our project has impacted several villages from five different regions all over the country. It is not only helping them revive and keep their identity, it's also created a 45 job opportunities for the locals and help them sell their merchandise. It's guaranteed a monthly income of 319 dinars for more than 13 families. Campus Plus has eight direct beneficiaries that are the owners of the parks and the manager of the website, and more than 60 indirect beneficiaries that range from local suppliers selling camping tools to waiters, cooks, guards, and tourist guides. It's established six local partnerships ensuring the recycling of 6,000 kilos of waste generated a revenue of 58,000 dinars, including 21,700 dinars that were made this year alone. And by this we achieved nine sustainable development goals. Our network of eco-villages improved the livelihood of both the park owners and the villagers by creating a dynamic environment they can capitalize on and revive those areas. This is the end of this pitch, but not the end of the story. You see, enacted stories are to be told over and over again. In every enactor today, and in every enactor that will come, they echo inside of us. Because we seek opportunities. We take action. We enable progress. We are the fighters for social good through smart, calculated entrepreneurial action. And story by story, we shape impact and we change the world. The places, projects and characters might change, but we, we are in this and our story continues.